if you want to help your company survive the AI tsunami that's coming, then you need to get them to perform a 360 in the way that they're currently thinking about their data. Small tweaks, changes and adjustments are not going to cut it. This is fundamental. What I'm talking about here is an AI revolution. That starts with accepting that the way that large enterprises run their data at the moment is fundamentally broken. How come your smartphone can recognize your face, uh, understand your speech and translate it into text and perform 101 other pieces of technical wizardry, yet your IT department takes over two months to get a simple field added to the key report that you need every week? Well, the first part to understand here is that all AI is built upon a data layer. And within the modern enterprise, outside of the tech giants, this data layer is broken. In fact, it's non-existent. Large enterprises have literally thousands of separate siloed pieces of data. These systems connect together in a spaghetti of different technologies. There's little standardization around uh, security and access, common schemas, uh, and single entities. And there's a kind of data culture uh, that's just lacking in the modern enterprise. And it's, it's difficult and bureaucratic to get hold of the information that you need to perform a task. In many ways, this is not a new observation. We're talking here about the data integration problem. And the classic solution to this is the data mart or data warehouse, a big system that you, big database that you go and grab all the data and perform an ETL process to get it into one single place. But the data warehouse has several problems. You have to define the schema up front. It's really not very agile, and as the business changes, which it is continually doing, the data warehouse is way too slow to keep up with that. But fundamentally, and this is where we begin to look at the, the, the pivot, the, the, the change in attitude that I'm talking about, fundamentally, you've got to be looking, aiming at connecting all of the data assets within your company. And a data warehouse, even the very best ones, within a large enterprise, they're not even working at the same order of magnitude. It's like 0.1% of the uh, data within the company. And that's not going to cut it, not, not for where things are going. The newer kid on the block is, is Hadoop uh, and various kind of big table technologies. And, and, and it's a step forward. All of these things are a step forward. But the promise of the crystal clear waters of data lakes have not materialized for the enterprises. They've blindly followed the tech giants into this technology. And in most cases, they've ended up with these kind of data swamps that sit there not really doing very much. And that's because they haven't tackled the fundamental problem, the hard part of the problem, which is conforming to schemas, linking your entities, uh, and cleaning and making, uh, really extracting the knowledge out of that. Um, also, I've got news for you, the, the cool kids. They've moved on. They moved on some time ago, actually, and they're all building knowledge graphs um, over the top of these uh, data structure that they've got. And knowledge graphs provide schema and meaning. Uh, now, as the uh, knowledge graph moves up the hype cycle, we're going to see more and more about uh, enterprise uh, knowledge graphs. But my message here is that Enterprises should not repeat the mistakes of the past and just blindly copy what Google and Facebook is doing. Now, the knowledge graph is a genuine innovation. For the first time, data relationships are being made first class citizens. And the more time you spend thinking about it, the more time you realize that data is all about relationships. But the situation for an enterprise is different from the internet giants. The diversity of the data and the data culture that it, uh, exists within the enterprise or, or lack of data culture need to be tackled. So the fundamental message in this series of talks is going to be about using the technology of um, knowledge graphs combined with decentralization. And I shall go into decentralization in my next talk. 
because I think it is through the combination of these two things, creating a distributed enterprise knowledge graph that we can unlock the data revolution within the enterprise.